in traffic forecast. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Anthony Farnell. Good evening, Catherine. Once again today, very warm and humid conditions, but Toronto and points to the east were saved a degree or two off those high temperatures because of the extensive cloud cover, which, by the way, is now breaking up. So it is going to be a sunny evening out there. We're also tracking a front right here, and there are thunderstorms from Huntsville extending to the Ottawa Valley, and then those really blossom into the province of Quebec. This is the first sign that there are changes ahead and we have other fronts that are going to start sinking south and bring fresher air, cooler temperatures and low humidity by early next week. So 29 degrees in Toronto, 31 in Ottawa, Sudbury has also hit 30, Windsor's at 31 and there are still heat warnings in place as the temperature humidity combo is uh, dangerous for some especially the fact that it's been this way now for the better portion of a week. In fact, the last time the temperature has been below 20 in Toronto was back on July 29th. So even overnight temps way above seasonal and that's not great for sleeping when you have the windows open and you want that air to circulate. Uh, 22 degree low with a humid X of 30 at night is tough. Now tomorrow afternoon 31 with a humid X of 39, but there are some changes, a risk of storms Sunday night, and a much cooler long-range forecast. Details coming up. Thanks, Anthony. Day eight of the summer. Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Anthony Farnell talking a bit about the heat and humidity, which I know for some it's, uh, it's old news. It's been this way for a while. In fact, in Toronto, uh, at Pearson Airport, the last time we were below 20, well, that was back uh, over five days ago, and it continues through tomorrow, 24 early on, 31 in the afternoon. One thing that was lacking for much of the day today was the sunshine. It'll be back in full force, and uh, that Humidex 38 during the day, and then it will eventually cool down. We are waiting for a cold front. That'll move through Monday, so already some fresher air across northern Ontario. That's what we have to look forward to. 26 today in Calgary, Edmonton, Regina, 23 in Vancouver. Really, the center of the hot, humid air is right here over the Great Lakes and into the province of Quebec. With that comes a few showers, and most of the activity has been right here, up across the north, waiting to see if any warnings get issued. But so far, it's been on the Quebec side of the border. That's where most of the lightning strikes have been as well. It's just mostly cloudy along Highway 401, keeping the temperature a degree cooler, but that's about it. So we're not anticipating much in the way of shower activity today. Tomorrow, however, we start off sunny. Look what happens late in the day. There is, uh, well, this is more overnight and into Monday. So I think it's dry for most of us on Sunday. And then Monday, there's a risk of showers, perhaps a thunderstorm, but it's the cooler air. That's what's going to be the big story next week. A complete change from this past week. Now, the rain, some of us have not seen much rain in the last week and a half. So uh, 49 millimeters in Kingston, that would be needed. And then it dries out again. The temperature dropping down to 15 in London tonight, but only 22 in Toronto, 20 in Kingston. Kingston, and there are your daytime highs tomorrow without the humidity factored in. With the humidity, 37 to 39. 27 on Monday, showers mostly in the morning, and then look at that, 22 on Tuesday. Southwestern Ontario gets heavier rain. Wednesday, 24, 25, 24. Overnights are comfortable for sleeping, so it's a big turnaround after one more day of heat and humidity. That's a look at your forecast. Here's your dog walking details. This is Coco just enjoying this long weekend. Hopefully you are as well for the dog tomorrow early morning or late evening. Best times to head outside, especially on the hot, dark concrete and asphalt. Have a great night.
first look at the forecast, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Anthony Farnell. Good evening, Catherine. All clear, all dry, but still quite humid. I know my clothes are dry. You just go out for 10 minutes and you do a little bit of strenuous activity and you're covered in sweat. I know I'm not alone, right? That was the case today. It's been that way for what seems like a week. And in fact, Toronto hasn't dipped below 20 uh, in over five days. And it's going to continue. Tonight, we're not going to get there. And tomorrow will be another hot one. Now, there was some clouds for much of the day. That kept the temperature a bit cooler through eastern Ontario as well. But those clouds are moving on. And we're left with clear skies. We start tomorrow off with sunshine. Uh, by the way, a bigger thunderstorm moved through Ottawa earlier this evening, and that did cool it down. Notice it's 22 there, 26 in Toronto, 24 in Windsor. We've got a 23 in Sudbury, and uh, the heat warning still in place for the Nickel Belt and parts of eastern Ontario into the province of Quebec. 20 kilometer per hour wind now from the northwest in Toronto. So that briefly brought in slightly less humidity, but it's not going to last. We'll talk more about how long this continues coming up. 22 degrees for a low tonight and then tomorrow. Well, it's going to be up to 31, the Humidex 38. And then there's some changes. We have a risk of thunderstorm Sunday night. Monday, you'll start feeling different. We'll talk about that cold front and next week's forecast still ahead. Thanks, Anthony. It was a day full of... I'm meteorologist Anthony Farnell. Let's get right back to your weather forecast. One more day of really hot and humid conditions. 31 by afternoon. The big difference tomorrow is that there's going to be more sunshine than what we had with the cloudy skies for much of the day today. Uh, and that means a higher afternoon temperature. Uh, the average is 27 and we're going to be below seasonal for the better portion of next week. So uh, let's embrace it. Let's maybe uh, enjoy the Caribbean festival or uh, the beach or the pool or uh, maybe just um, reading a book in the shade. That all sounds great. And it is humid, not just in Ontario, but Quebec and the Maritimes. And it's been rather warm out west as well. 27 in Calgary today. We had uh, cooler temperatures in, Al or in Saskatchewan. And there's also some thunderstorms moving into that province from Alberta. These storms sinking to the south will dissipate tonight. But this is the cold front. This is what's going to change the air mass around here, and it happens Monday. That's the transition day. Now, the eastern Ontario thunderstorms from earlier have dissipated completely, but it was quite the light show. Some gusty winds in Ottawa earlier. Uh, all of that just a thing of the past now. And tomorrow, after a sunny start, there's a slight chance of rain, but I, I think most areas are dry on Sunday. And then it's Monday that we have a better chance of rain. And at this point, I hope we actually see some wet weather because we go into a drier weather pattern after that. Southwestern Ontario could get rain on Tuesday as well. Here's our forecast on amounts over the next couple of days, and it really is hit and miss. It depends on if those thunderstorms develop over your area. 22 degrees for a low tonight, warmer in the city than surrounding areas, but tomorrow everybody's hot. Although finally the heat warning should be gone in Sudbury and North Bay, still quite warm to the south. Now over the next few days, 27 Monday, still muggy in the morning. By Tuesday though, 22. 24 on Wednesday and similar conditions throughout next week. So a big change during the day and you'll feel that with comfortable sleeping weather as well. So for your dog walk, maybe keep it a bit shorter tomorrow as that temperature climbs. Coco, hang in there. Cooler days are ahead.